Hey co friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today it's time to announce the 2023 challenge. Now notice how I didn't say hair challenge because we're switching it up and broadening the scope of our goals this year. This is year seven and this is actually a special year because this year will be 10 years of me on YouTube. A whole decade? Wow, so uh, there's obviously gonna be some growth there between when I started and now. The very first challenge was 2017 with the No Heat Challenge, which was totally inspired by me trying to get you guys to realize how beautiful your curly hair is. And many of you just did not straighten your hair for the full year and saw amazing results. After the No Heat Challenge, I believe it was the Deep Conditioning Challenge, we did the Big Chop Challenge, we did the Hair Growth Challenge, we did the switch it up challenge, and then last year was the hairstyle challenge. <laughs> About that. That was probably my biggest fail out of all my challenges. Hey Siri, how many weeks are in a year? It's 52.18 weeks. Yeah, so I was supposed to do 52 hairstyles. Um, I don't know how many I did, but I did not do 52. <laughs> I did get a protective style, like, two times, I think, yeah, two times. Well, that took up a couple weeks and I was pregnant, you know, excuse, excuse, excuse. I'm sorry, that was not my best year. Then I asked all of you guys on Instagram if you stuck with the hairstyle challenge. It looks like you guys kind of failed as well. Some of you did better than others. Some of you tagged me every week after I did do a hairstyle and I see you and I appreciate you and I'm gonna showcase you in this video. So stick around to see if your photo, if you sent me a photo of your hairstyle, your favorite hairstyle of last year, made it in the video. So first of all, let's address the elephant in the room. The background is different. What's going on? I'm officially in my new house. We did move. So I have my very own studio now, not just in our garage and there's air conditioning here. I'm not freezing. I'm not too hot. It's going to be great, but I haven't exactly designed it yet. I got, um, transparency boxes behind me. I put a sheet over it so you guys won't notice it. And then I have one tree. I don't know where my other tree is, but there it is. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along my entire home journey, my product collection. I'm trying to minimize that, give more to you guys. I have to still design my whole office. Like I'm gonna share it all. So that is why we're looking a little barren today because it's, it's a blank wall. It's a fresh start. It's a new year. Perfect time for a brand new challenge. So this year's challenge was inspired by you guys, of course. It's the only reason I do these challenges, not just for me, but for you. And we all could do it together, hold each other accountable. And I asked you on Instagram, at Ms. Bianca Renee, follow me if you're not, what do you guys want this challenge to be? And a lot of you even suggested things outside of the hair space, including like mental health or dieting, um, exercise. Some of you did offer some other hair suggestions. So I thought instead of just kind of choosing one very, very specific thing, we would keep it broad and do a new challenge every single week. That's right. We're switching it up, not with our hair, but we're switching up how the challenges work. And we're going to just get a lot of stuff done this year. I want us to be able to hit multiple different goals in multiple different categories. One of the main reasons being after 10 years of YouTube, you do get a little, just a little tired of talking about shampoo and conditioner. I love my curls. I love making hair videos but it does get a little redundant every single Sunday, 10 years consistently. There's really only so much I can say about a shampoo, let's be honest. Um, it either cleanses or it doesn't. A conditioner either has slip or it doesn't. It either smells good or it doesn't. There's expensive, there's low. I still wanna try new products and I'll still be giving you guys reviews throughout the year, but I know that I have grown as a human being in the last 10 years, and I think you have as well. We've been evolving together. Some of you are ride or die that have been here since my very first YouTube video almost 10 years ago. And I'm sure if you have been watching my videos, 
you've learned just about everything you need to learn about your curls at this point. I know we have some new people here. If you are new, welcome. I'm always here to offer my past videos to help you along your hair journey. There's always more things to learn. So I will still continue to learn about hair in general, but I want to start incorporating other things about my life. I got babies now. I got a house now. I got to decorate it. I got to take care of them. Maybe you guys also have families. Maybe you have kids. Maybe you're also trying to decorate your new home or apartment or space. Maybe you like makeup. Maybe you like skincare. Maybe you like fashion. Maybe you just like shopping. Anyone else addicted to Amazon? Yeah. Let's just get into all of it and switch it up and have some fun with some new kind of content this year. So that's my little disclaimer, letting you guys know that I am going to be evolving as I have been over the years into more than just curls. And I hope that you guys will stick around and that you enjoy my new types of content. Some of y'all already told me, nope, I only love you for your curls. I'm out. I mean, it's not, it's not what I wanna hear, but that's what it is, that's what it is. If you only love me for my curls, I can't, I can't force you to stay, but I really hope you do because I'm still gonna keep things entertaining, still gonna be me. It's just gonna be a little broader this year, hopefully, if I stick to it. And to be honest, that is kind of scary. It's pretty scary to be doing something consistent for 10 years, which has definitely been my bread and butter. It's literally my job full time to then change it and risk annoying you my audience and trying something different. It is slightly terrifying. And that's why this year's challenge is the comfort zone challenge. I am challenging you to get out of your comfort zone. And we're gonna be trying something new this year, not just with our hair, but with every different type of aspect of our life. And since we're gonna be doing something new every single week, I want you to help me decide what each week is going to be by leaving comment suggestions below. So let me give you an example. One thing that I'm really nervous about doing is DIY projects in my home. I follow so many DIY home decor things and I've never used a sander or a Brad nailer, what are they called? Brad miter nailer gun. You know those little nail guns? Happen is one of those. I bought one. I gotta practice. So, so I'm gonna be like putting holes in the wall and painting and trying new things. And I'm gonna be doing it afraid. We gotta do things afraid to get out of our comfort zone to actually meet our goals each year. If you want your year to be exactly the same as last year, don't change a thing. But if you want a better year than last year, you have to change something. Isn't that the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome. We have to switch it up in a very drastic way if you wanna see drastic changes in this year versus last year or any year before that. So getting out of my comfort zone is definitely gonna be doing DIY projects around the house. Cooking. Yeah, girl can't cook. I mean, I can, I just don't do it. And I spend way too much money on DoorDash. Since it is 2023, you notice that groceries are extremely expensive. Therefore, DoorDash and restaurants is even more expensive. So I really should learn how to cook and do it consistently. So we're gonna have at least one week where I'm like, okay, this week, we're not ordering out. No DoorDash, no Grubhub, no Uber Eats. We gotta cook at home with the food that we got. Or maybe it's gonna be to try a new recipe. Maybe it's time to put down that neutrals brown palette. Yes, I'm talking to someone out there. I have so much makeup and I use the same brown eyeshadow every single day. <laughs> it's so bad. So maybe I might challenge you to use a color. Maybe we would do some color eyeshadow. Maybe, maybe you've never done a wing liner because you're afraid that you're gonna mess up you gotta start. And that's what this whole challenge is gonna be about, is that when you think about why you're not doing things, why you aren't reaching your goals, why aren't you trying new things, it's probably because of that little perfection voice in your head that I know my, my voice is, is loud. My perfection voice is, it's in there. And I don't like to try new things because then I might fail. And then it's not perfect. And if it's not perfect, it drives me crazy. So. This is just like really gonna be pulling at all the perfectionists because we're gonna try new things and it's not gonna be for, it's not gonna be perfect the first time. It's just not. It's gonna be about not making excuses. 
just doing it. I almost called it the just do it challenge, but I didn't want Nike to sue me. But we just gotta do it. The reason why we're not doing something, whatever it may be in your life, is because you're afraid of not doing it well. You're afraid of what other people might think. You're afraid of failing. And this could even be related back to hair stuff. Some of you have still not committed to your natural curly hair because you're afraid. You're afraid you're not gonna know how to do it. You're afraid of what other people may think in your family. You're afraid of what people may think at your job and you're still straightening your hair to please other people. Maybe you're using the same product over and over again because you're afraid to try something new. Guess what? There might be a better product out there for you that makes your hair more moisturized, shinier, grow faster, but you haven't tried it because you're afraid to try something new. See what I mean? So this challenge is gonna be very tailored to you and your needs. Each week you can choose if you want to join, but I hope you do. I hope you follow me on Instagram and TikTok so we can communicate and you can let me know how you have accomplished the goals of the week. So like I said, we might do a workout week, we might do let's work out every day this week. Even if it's for 15 minutes, I challenge you to work out 15 minutes every day. Maybe it's I challenge you to not eat sugar all week. Maybe it's something for mental health. I challenge you to make some me time every single day. As a mom with two kids, I often find that I don't have any time for myself. Even making this video, I started it six times because my son kept walking in the door and now I was really excited about the natural lighting in my new house. It's eight o'clock, it's dark outside. I got lights on. <laughs> so maybe the challenge could be taking 20 minutes to just yourself, to unplug, to read a book. Maybe the challenge is to read a book that week. Maybe the challenge is to go on a date. Maybe you're afraid to get back into relationships. Maybe this is your year to put yourself out there and maybe date someone that's not your typical type. How often do we see that in movies? You go for the, the cute jock and then the nice nerd is the one you wanna marry. I would know. So it's all about getting out of our comfort zone in every aspect of our life. So this is where I need you to help me. I want you to leave me a comment down below with all of your suggestions and we're gonna do a new challenge every single week, every week until the end of the year. I'm thinking we're gonna do four weeks in a month, three challenges together, and then maybe the fourth week could be like a freestyle week. Or maybe I'll throw them in sporadically. I'm not really sure how I wanna do it yet. But maybe the freestyle week could be something that you know you need to work on. So let's say you know you haven't been able to spend any quality time with your kids. Maybe that only applies to you and your family because of some reason. Maybe that is the week where you decide, okay, every bedtime we're gonna read a bedtime story or we're gonna cook together or have family game nights on Friday. I don't know what it is, but we, maybe it could be like, the last week could be like a random thing tailored to you. Let me know what you guys think. So let me go to some of your responses that you gave me on Instagram with some ideas that we might be incorporating this year. Someone said, say one thing you love or admire about yourself in the mirror every day. Some are gonna be more simple than others, and I love that, we'll switch it up every week. The one might require more effort than the next week. Someone said, I'm stuck on repeating the deep conditioning challenge. That's also okay. It's totally okay to continue to repeat my last challenges. Maybe your challenge for the year is to do all of my challenges at once. You're not straightening your hair. You're deep conditioning every week. You're cutting off any of those dead straggler ends. Maybe that's a big chop. You're taking hair growth supplements. You're switching it up. You're trying new hairstyles. Maybe you're doing all of that. Maybe you're doing the mega challenge this year. Your hair would be immaculate by the end of the year. Making your hair routine as simple as possible yet effective, that's a good one. Maybe we'll do one week where you only can use one styler. I'm taking it back to my old roots and just using one styler like I did today. Comment if you know what's in my hair right now because you watch my stories. No silicone challenge. Challenge yourself to not use silicone. See how your hair changes. Self-care challenge. Challenge yourself to do something for yourself every week, like every Sunday is your self-care day. That would be great. In general, trying new anything, food, hair, shows, stuff with the babies, that could be a great challenge too. Maybe trying a new food. What if we tried a new food every day for a week? Our palate would just lower. Recession-proof hair care. Maybe I'll do a week where I only use products that are under $10. 
So those are all great suggestions. I need more from you because we got 52 weeks to fill. I'm probably going to be announcing maybe all of them at the top of the month would be good for me. Uh, a challenge for me personally would be like posting on TikTok every single day. Please follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee so I can get my TikTok numbers up. But make sure you watch my Instagram stories. I'll probably also do a post letting you guys know every Sunday, okay, this is this week's challenge. Let me know if you're down and then we'll keep up with each other so we can make sure we accomplish our goals throughout the week. Now, before I announce this week's first challenge of the year, let's go back to show off all of your beautiful hairstyles that you tried back in 2022. Wow, beautiful. Some of y'all did some fancier hairstyles than I did. Some of y'all did the ones that I did and they looked amazing on you as well. I'm not going to give up on this per se. I really wanna give y'all 52 still. I gotta see how many I owe you. And I will be changing my hairstyle throughout the year. Yeah, let's, let's just keep doing it. But thank you for all of you that joined the hairstyle challenge. If you failed with me, it's okay, I forgave you because I also messed up. And that's also part of this year's challenge is letting go of perfectionism, allowing room for mistakes. You can't grow unless you make mistakes and then you learn from those mistakes. And I learned not to put too much pressure on myself with my channel, with my Instagram, trying to keep up with the algorithm and trends and focusing on comments and numbers and even brand deals and just not focusing on things that make me happy. And what's gonna be making me happy this year is switching up my content and getting that new excited feeling about trying something new. It is terrifying, but I am excited and I'm going to be making mistakes along the way I'm gonna show you my mistakes. I'm gonna do things not perfect. Old me would not even have recorded this video because my background isn't pretty yet, but I'm still just doing it so the content can get out there. I have so many ideas as you may have as well if you're trying to be a content creator this year. You have all these ideas and things you wanna do but you haven't pushed record. You haven't posted it. It's not edited right. The lighting's not good. Your nails aren't done. We can find so many reasons not to post the things that we want to post. Not this year. This year, we're gonna stop hoarding content. So for the first challenge of the year, let's keep it to health. A lot of you guys said you wanna focus on your health this year. So this week, every day this week, we're gonna work out. We're gonna work out together for a minimum of 15 minutes. You might say, I don't have time to work out. I have this, I have that. Trust me, I know. I, I use all those same excuses myself. I have two kids. I have a toddler and a newborn. Does he have a newborn anymore? He's five months. <laughs> but, there's always 15 minutes. You've scrolled for 15 minutes. You've watched that one show on Netflix. You binge the whole season, actually. Imagine if you were doing crunches throughout each episode. How many abs would you have right now? So I'm gonna be checking in on Instagram. If I do not post my workout on Instagram, you guys gotta call me out like, okay, Bianca, it's um, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You haven't worked out yet. What's going on? and I have to post something. I'll be sending you guys links to like YouTube video workouts that are free for you to do. Maybe we'll do like challenges, like do 100 crunches today, or do 50 push-ups, or go for a walk, 15 minute walk. We'll change it every day, but if you want to join, let me know. But if you are down for the variety of challenges that we are going to be doing throughout the year, this is the part of the video where you commit to my comfort zone challenge. Should it be called the no comfort zone challenge? Because get out of the comfort zone challenge is too long. Let's call it the no comfort zone challenge. All right, now this is the part of the video where you raise your right hand and you accept the no comfort zone challenge. Now repeat after me. I, insert name, solemnly swear to get out of my comfort zone and expand beyond hair. Maybe it's my health or the food that I eat, but no matter what the challenge is, my drive can't be beat. I will do it not perfect, and I will do it afraid. I will do it for me, not for a grade. I will not let others' opinions or comments discourage me. This is the year I set all of my fear free. 
Boom! Just like that, you have accepted the No Comfort Zone Challenge. Now, once again, not that I don't believe you, but as we usually do here, I do need that in writing. So leave me a comment down below and say, I, whatever your name is, accept the hashtag no comfort zone challenge. And then go ahead and give me some suggestions on what you think we should do this year for one of the weeks. We got many weeks to fill, so give me all your suggestions. If you see one that you like, comment on that comment or give it a little like so I can see it and make sure that we include it. But starting off, once again, we are gonna be doing a workout week. So if you want to get fit this year, this might be the little push that you need to start your fitness journey. Do I think one week of working out is gonna change your life? No, you're gonna to have to keep going if you really wanna see results, but you gotta start somewhere. So I'm just here to kind of be like your jumper cables. I'm here to jumpstart all of your goals this year. So let me know if you accept this challenge and let me know more specifically if you accept my workout challenge for this first week and make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee so we can keep track of what workouts we're doing each day. I'm so excited to do this challenge with you guys and I'll see you next Sunday for the next challenge. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.